Hello everyone, um, we're still in a bit of plowing here now at the moment. You can see, it's not the ball reasonably okay. Uh, it's our second bit of plowing today. I put three acres in the first place, probably another three, four here, so not too bad, not a crazy amount. Um, and this will probably be the last of the receding for this year. So, other than that, earlier on this morning I was doing a bit of mulching. Um, getting the place ready to be reseeded and didn't mulch back as much as I could of the headland because it was gone pretty overgrown so the next step there will be we'll probably try and get in there tomorrow with the um, saw blade on the hedge cutter and that'll probably be what this video will contain or the next video so that's kind of what's going on really um the year is finishing up i never kind of really finished off that bailing video but uh we got through it and, and it all worked out fairly handy um, and just tied in up these odds and ends of jobs before weather gets too bad so that's me for the moment um I get doing headlines here and stuff and probably film a bit more of it. Um, I wouldn't be a pro plowman by any means, but um, this one seems to be turning out fairly nice. So that's me for now, and um, when I'm doing the headlines here, I'll probably talk to you there again too. As you can see, I'm just doing the top headland here now. Um, I've it finished. It turned over fairly nice, bar obviously that bit, but that seems to what happened anyway. Or it seems to what happens when you're turning headlands like that, you seem to get that scry bit. Um, I think tillage lads turn them over and then turn them back and you avoid all that kind of stuff. So, it's turned over relatively nice. Um, the farmer is going to roll it and he's going to land level it and we'll see the tomorrow so turned out nice and um, the weather's supposed to hold for tomorrow and we'll get it done so nice enough finish off to this kind of work for the year um handy field but it's always nice to plow a nice one to finish with put a good shine up on the board before we put the plow away anyway so that's all a good thing. Um, that's about it, really. I'll probably talk to you when I'm seeding it. Don't know whether it'll be me or the father because the father is seeding already today. So, might be him seeding it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how we're getting on. Um, I'll get the saw rigged up and the hedge cutter. It's a bit of work in getting that rigged up, so might stick it on this evening even and um, try and have it as ready to go as possible for tomorrow so that's about all from me now at the moment and um, I'll speak to you there later on when we're putting on the hedge cutter or when we've been on some time around that anyway and we'll see how we're going so see you then hello everyone um, today we are saw cutting with the hedge cutter, it's our first day out of this. Uh, this is the biggest thing I've cut so far with us. And we're managing away okay. Um, a bit of tidying up to do here. I can't properly reach in until he clears back the bushes. So I must wait for him to, um, he's tidying up over the far side of the field. And once he has this cleared, I'll probably give another run on top because there's a drain at the other side of Quank quite reach it um, but anyway here's our saw it's not it wasn't to fit this hedge cutter it was it had um, I suppose a headstock you'd call it for an arbo so we made this up last night um, and it's working quite well she's flying away there now um, my edge is probably a bit shot at this stage to do with building up a bit of edge again but um we'll finish off this job anyway so that's basically it uh, there was an awful lot of ground lost in this job so 
overgrown like the headlands were way out um, even coming through here with machinery it was getting fairly tight this one here small field this one's a bit bigger and um, we added it up it's about an acre and a half there was lost so he'll keep pushing away the bushes and um, I'll give it a tidy when he's finished and we'll probably be reseeding here in the spring I'd imagine I think that's the whole point of doing this job so yeah there was a bit of a learning curve using the saw my first time at it but um, enjoyable enough work nonetheless I have no guard but I don't really need a guard for this stuff because it kind of just snaps and falls opposed to chipping and the stuff on top there probably would chip so that's the stuff you need a guard for because you get a bit the bit that's cut seems to come around again and fly so that's what happens with us but um anyway we're nearly finished this one we've as i know at the moment we've four or five more saw jobs to do but um the rain isn't too far away so tomorrow i'll probably have the flail head back on and i will be going with the flail head because i think the rest of them are on farm roadways and stuff like that so no big panic with him um, weather wise but uh, anyway once he has these buses shoved in I'll give another run along here and we'll talk to you then.